It's an aquatic patio bowl, and we're gonna make this into a guppy. We are showing you that it is not hard to get a little tiny water feature. These are prolific, so we could probably cut some of these out. <laughs> <laughs> Look how many we got. Oh, brother. Whipping them. Whipping them. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh. Ow. <laughs> we have all of Aqualand to ourselves right now. And we got the whole warehouse. Look at all them Aquascape products. Look at that. What is going on, Kaferos? I can't really do my uh, signature, like, salute because I'm on this right here. I'm off the little scooters for now, but I came to the front of Aquascape to show you these things in specific, these little nano tanks. Not only those, though, but this right here. This is actually a kit that you could buy. As you can tell, look at all the guppies hiding back there. It actually comes with all of this. So it has the little bamboo filtration. You can see the pump that's down there. He just threw in a bunch of plants so it hides that pump. There's gravel at the bottom and there's guppies right there. Jack and I are here alone. Aquascape after dark, why Exactly. Not? This is it right here, this is the kit. I got permission from Greg to film this video. And inside this store is everything you could think about at Aquascape, everything. So I thought, why not we pop this box open, put some water, and create our own one of that. But even cooler than that, because we're gonna go around Aquascape and find random little things. What else do you do at one in the morning? And you know who I'm with? I'm with Jack, the number one pond builder contractor in the world. <laughs> we're with the man. We're like, we're here, we're gonna do this. It's gonna be insane. Look at what they're working on right now. Remember if you saw last video, this wasn't nearly as, as uh, done. Now they got like the patio bowl into the wall. It's incredible what they do around here. This is all inside, as you can tell. For some reason on this camera, white lights just like fog. It's weird. It is so lit up here. I mean, look at that. Got waterfalls everywhere. We'll probably even thin some of these out. Yeah, I saw them picking them today. Why don't we thin so some sure. of these out, take some of these. Yep, maybe look how like green the, they are, dude. Maybe one of the plant. You wanna put some fish in it? Yeah, let's find some fish for it too. So Carlos, the guy that put the guppies in here, said there's a ton of feeder guppies, so when we make our own, we could set it up just like this one and put those, some of those feeders in there, because there's a lot of guppies in there. Yeah, we could totally divide them out, put them in our little package yep. farm. And, and then we'll set it up for display, like right here. Yeah. So when they come tomorrow morning, something's just appeared. So now we're running the Aquascape store. Yeah, of course. It's an aquatic patio bowl, and we're gonna make this into a guppy enclosure. Oh! 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 oh. Hey, real simple and easy here. Now, how many of these have you installed? Uh, patio bowls, uh, probably 20 or 30 of them. Yeah, just like strictly patio bowls What's as so pond. What's cool about this is if you have a deck or just a patio and you want to set up a little pond with a couple small fish and you want to put some plants in it, these are perfect for that. So it's a very simple little pond to set up. So simple and easy, and that's one of the main reasons why I am filming this video today. This is $162. Yeah, but $162, bucks, it comes with a pump, comes with the plumbing, comes with a water feature and the bowl. You basically add some Everything. plants and some fish and you're done. You have the whole pond right here yeah. in your hands, and that's what you can make it look like with a $2 plant that they just threw in there. Oh, yeah, let's not do that. Remember, styrofoam <laughs> is just not good. 90 gallon per hour pump right there, and then what else we got? comes with a spinner, which is like a decorative feature, with the plumbing attached. This couldn't oh. be any easier to put in. And that's gonna create oxygen. It's gonna create oxygen, it's gonna have a waterfall. Yeah. Which all that sound. I wanna take this home. This goes in here like this. Yep. And this, pops right in. This goes in the back, like no that. Way. No way, dude. Pump, plug the pipe right in there. Mm. Just a little bit of squeezing over so it stays on there. Boom. That's it, man. That looks good already, and it doesn't even have anything in it. Well, what's cool is, so instead of having the cord hanging out of the top of the bowl, yeah, we're gonna take this out of the way real quick. This little guy, oh, stick it like that. Genius, genius. Put that back over there. You stick this anywhere, On anywhere. Deck, Look at in that. Your house, whatever. Good to go. And this right here is exactly why I've got Jack with me today. He is the man when it comes to doing this stuff. I'm telling you, you won't regret watching to the end of this video to see the final outcome of this little $160, what would you call it, a patio pond? Patio pond. A patio pond, like, you're gonna be mind blown. Look at how cool this is. This is actually for turtles. It's the same exact thing, just a bit bigger, and as you can tell, the log comes up. You could probably hang like a basking lamp over this. It's $300, and then 75, so you get 375 bucks, so you got a bigger 
enclosure for a turtle, which is, dude, it's just like random little things they could think about. So I, I get the stuff out of uh, the Outer Banks, like, or nature, and it, it rots, right? Yeah, so and it leaves time, that, that gonna rot. tent. This is faux driftwood. It's made out of resin, never gonna rot. You put it in, it's gonna look like this 10 years from now. Yep. Never, and the watercolor won't change, the water clarity. The tannin is so the word. Natural driftwood, when it decomposes, it releases tannins, like a tea. So if you stick a tea bag in water, it turns into that darker color. Same thing with driftwood. After time, it starts to tint the water like a tea color. Jack and I have no way to get gravel. It, it is literally negative 50 degrees outside with the wind chill. It's negative 22, wind chill is negative 50. You don't want to step foot outside, let's just say that. Looks good, doesn't it? We don't need much more than that. We get some plants in there, get some fish. This thing is done. This is a very simple little pond. These are prolific, so we could probably cut some of these out and they would never miss them. Let's do it. Let's get ones that aren't like too big and noticeable like that. You cut that out, Greg's gonna notice. Jack, you know, I don't know why we're hiding anything. He's gonna watch this video. <laughs> and pretty much everyone else that's here. But so. you know what? They're, they're watching us on camera here someplace. Oh, I know she is. Somebody's She's already watching. Uh, last time I was here, I went outside in the pond out front, walked on the snow across the pond. I got in trouble. She's like, what if you fell through? <laughs> Could have died and no one was here. Colleen is always watching. Always. This might not be the right plant, Paul. We should get the back where it's almost overgrown because we don't want to, of course, affect the tank at all. Yeah, see the back, how they hang over like this? But this stuff, grow, this stuff grows back so fast. The roots of these plants hang down in the water and they just suck up nutrients like fish waste and all that. That's what's gonna help keep that little patio pond clean is this. Yep. So Jack and I have picked out our plants. So this is in a pot and we don't want all that dirt leaching into the water. We should grab one of those planting yeah, let's baskets. do it. Yep, planting baskets. It that's, says you get to small one this one. Yeah, what's three cool ninety nine? It's a mesh. Take the plant out of the pot. Yeah, that lets all the water in. It's going to keep the soil from leaching into the to the water. Yep, that's going to solve our problem. Aquatic planter. It's going to do it for us. So the plan is that's not deep. We have rocks, and what we're going to do is pretty much build it up so that these plants aren't like fully submerged. Water. They're just slightly submerged because they're raised by these rocks right here. So Jack is uh, doing his little rock work. Check it out. You want to put it in so that it's not taken away from the look of things. If you live in Chicago, I'm actually going to link the location to Aqualand down in the description below. Come over to this place. Check it out yourself. Maybe get some of these products. Maybe get this to do yourself. I don't know what you might want to do once you get here. I'll have the location down in the description as well as. Ha, let me tell you. The genius man himself, Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. I'll have his channel linked in the description. Go show him some love. See how many subscribers we can get him up to. What do you got now? We're almost 12,000. We're all oh, make it hit 15. Is that possible, you think? That's possible. They're very powerful. 15,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can get Jack to 15,000. This aquatic planter, $3.98. Yep. But it comes with two planters. Oh. So for four bucks, you're getting two planters. I thought it came in one. And these are perfect size for that pot. Like perfect, perfect. size. So we're just gonna take this, this pot with the soil. I'm just gonna grab it here so I don't let it all fall on the ground. I'm gonna pop the pot right off just like that. I'm gonna slip this guy right over it. It's that easy? It's that easy. And that won't let, it'll let the water in but not the soil out. Exactly. So. Oh got, my goodness. We got our plant, which is contained within the, the planter. So we could take this guy, he's a straggler, put him around here and have him just drop right back in. But we gotta make it worth it. We gotta let them walk in tomorrow morning and say, who in the heck, we need to hire these people. But we're at Aquascape. We're not, where they literally have everything you need to build a pond. As much as you possibly could think of. <laughs> yes. Okay. help a lot. Get that in there. I think Chris is gonna be upset with us for taking his sand. Hey, Chris. Sorry, man. Chris, man, just, just a few handfuls, dude. Sand. sand, a little bit of stone, it's not much material. So we're gonna take some of the stone, we're gonna put it on top of the sand, right? And what that's gonna do is it's gonna help hold that stuff down, so when you put it in the water, it's not gonna just float out. So this is great too, if you've got a pond and you've got fish in it, fish like to root around in the plants to get all the little nutrients and bugs that are in there. You got gravel in there, it's gonna keep them from getting to the dirt and really messing things up. So that's about all we need right there, okay? It yeah. doesn't look like a whole lot right now, 
You give this thing a month, it's gonna fill out so much you'll never see this planter. So I found this in the back. I hope Brian and Chris don't make their iced tea in here. Since <laughs> I'm gonna use it for pond water. Oh, we are just, we are working off anything. But that is the point of this video. We are showing you that it is not hard to get a little tiny water feature, whether it's in your house, like I said, you already know. We're just trying to prove a point that it is not that difficult to do something like this yourself. Got koi fish down there, and look at this. We're already filling up with water. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, things are pressure. Now, there's actually a knob on that uh, pump that you can make it flow less, more. <laughs> <laughs> Look how many we got. There's, there's about 12 in there. Look how many are in there. That was just one little dab, and that's how that's many you got. That's enough for this pond. Yeah, like, yeah, 100%. Are these, fish, Paul? these are guppies, feeder guppies. How big were they get? Uh, not big. They're literally just feeder guppies. Just that big? Yeah, a little bit bigger than that. I mean, imagine this in your house with just these little amount of fish in there. Yep. Just to look in and see those guys swimming around, I think that's I cool. love this type of stuff. What are your new? There they go. There they are. That's it. They're cruising. Oh, there's one guy in there. <laughs> look at them all swimming around already. That was like a 17 minute pond. <laughs> Is that, that the even, fastest that pond even, you've ever made? That was not even 30 minutes. And how long have you been making ponds? 20 years. And that's the fastest one. That is the fastest Not that that's like an in-ground pond, but still. I love this thing. We're there here at Aqualand. Nobody else no here. one's here. And we just figured, hey, Greg said we can make a really cool video with this fella right here. So I picked up the box. I said, Jack, let's do it. And we did it. That right there shows you that you can make a pond within 20 minutes. It says 30 on the box. We did it in 20. And it's very affordable. So go out there, do it. Just do it. Nike? Yeah. That's, yeah. the, that's, that's, that's the saying, I might get sued. <laughs>